to Charlotte, students gather here today to raise awareness for Venezuela. February 12th, the protests started officially in Venezuela. The students decided to go out on the streets and protest for their rights. And people decided to do it international as well, so we can bring international awareness, so I decided to become part of it. This is not about just a country, this is about human rights. We all wish we had the same freedom and we all want to be in the same, situ same situation where we were able to feel free. And as students, we need to support everyone regardless of the country. Since a week ago, everything started to increase. In when the university students started protesting, the uh, president said that the National Guard had to go outside and control them, which you're you know, basically get, creating a civil war between the, the National Guard and university students. And then they were just protesting, you know, to just uh, security, for food, for medicine, for the basic stuff that a country has to offer for their population. And then since that point on, everything turned black. Protests have left 13 dead, 137 wounded, said Attorney General Luis Ortega at a press conference. I mean, it's not only Venezuela, it's, it's, it's every, like, every country in the world, you know. Ukraine was fighting too, so I just recommend people from the U.S. just not to stay, you know, U.S. informant. Go around, see what other people are suffering from. And uh, right now with this sheriff, we're just trying to, you know, just uh, raise a little bit of awareness to see what other people's, like, you know, are going through. Students wore hashtag Pray for Venezuela shirts to raise awareness on a school campus. For Niner News, I'm Michelle Vera.